Did you know that, according to Buddhist culture, your birth month is linked to a specific animal? And did you know that this can hide a secret about your soul? In this video, we will discover that what your birth month says about your spirit animal is incredible and will not leave you indifferent. We will discover the deep spiritual meaning that links your birth month to your spirit animal and how this can play a fundamental role in your existence. Imagine being able to understand the secret forces that guide you, make decisions that are more aligned with your true self, and live with more purpose. What if we told you that your spirit animal can give you strength, clarity, and a new perspective on life? This isn't just exciting, it's transformative. Have you ever wondered why certain things happen in your life or why you are drawn to certain paths? Your spirit animal could be the key to understanding these questions. So don't miss the opportunity to discover this hidden part of you. And if you stay until the end of the video, we will reveal a secret that could change the way you see yourself and the world around you. But before continuing, if you haven't already done so, Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay informed when we publish new content for your personal growth. A group of disciples, seated in meditation, eagerly awaited the arrival of their teacher, the venerable monk Hiroya. The air was charged with a vibrant energy, heralding a special teaching. Hiroya emerged from his abode his weathered face radiating a deep serenity. His steps were slow and measured, each movement an expression of awareness. He paused before his disciples, his dark eyes sparkling with wisdom. A faint smile curled his lips as he surveyed the eager faces of his students. My dear disciples, he began in a warm, enveloping voice. Today, I will reveal to you an ancient secret that is hidden in the month of your birth. A thrill of excitement ran through the group. Hiroya smiled, knowing he had struck a deep chord in their hearts. Did you know, he continued, that the month you were born into the world can reveal your spirit animal, a powerful guide who accompanies you on the journey of life. The disciples' eyes widened in amazement. Some exchanged questioning glances, others nodded slowly, as if they had always suspected a profound connection between their birth and their destiny. Hiroya explained that according to Buddhist wisdom, each month is linked to a specific animal, each with its own unique qualities and lessons to impart. These spirit animals are not simple symbols but manifestations of energies that constantly interact with our inner being, influencing our choices, our challenges, and our destiny. Knowing your spirit animal, Hiroya said, is like discovering a hidden part of yourself, a powerful ally that will guide you toward realizing your true potential. One of the disciples, a young woman named Sakura, raised her hand enthusiastically. Master, she asked, how can we discover our spirit animal? Hiroya smiled benevolently. It's simple, Sakura. You just need to know the month of your birth. And so the old and wise master began to reveal the secrets of each month, painting in vivid words the characteristics of each spirit animal. Those born in January, he said, are guided by the wolf, a symbol of loyalty, inner strength, and a deep sense of community. He told the story of a young warrior, born under the sign of the wolf, who learned to protect the weak and fight for justice. The wolf teaches the importance of cooperation and respect for family and friends. Hiroya explained, those born in January can find strength and inspiration in their bonds with loved ones and in their dedication to a cause greater than themselves. The wolf also reminds us of the importance of a balance between independence and interdependence, 
Although strong and capable of surviving alone, the wolf knows that the strength of the pack is essential to facing life's challenges. Likewise, those born in January can find a balance between pursuing their goals and cultivating meaningful relationships. Those born in February, Hiroya continued, have the owl as their guide, a symbol of wisdom, intuition, and the ability to see beyond appearances. He spoke of a wise old woman born under the sign of the owl, who thanks to her deep intuition was able to guide others through the difficulties of life. The owl teaches us to listen to our inner voice and trust our instincts. Hiroya said, those born in February can find the truth hidden in the shadows and bring light into the darkness. The owl also encourages reflection and introspection. As the owl observes the world from above, those born in February can find wisdom in observing and understanding the dynamics of life before taking action. Those born in March, the monk said with a smile, are accompanied by the dolphin, a symbol of joy, empathy, and communication. He described a young artist, born under the sign of the dolphin, who had learned to express her emotions through dance, bringing joy and inspiration to those who watched her. The dolphin teaches us to live lightly and celebrate the beauty of life. Hiroya explained, those born in March can find happiness in the little things and bring harmony to relationships. The dolphin also reminds us of the importance of communication and connection. Just as dolphins communicate with each other through sounds and gestures, those born in March can create deep and meaningful bonds with others. Those born in April, Hiroya continued, are guided by the hawk, a symbol of vision, determination, and leadership. He told the story of a successful businesswoman born under the sign of the hawk, who learned to see opportunities where others saw only obstacles. The hawk teaches us to aim high and pursue our dreams with courage and tenacity. Hiroya said, those born in April can reach great heights and inspire others with their vision. The hawk also symbolizes freedom and independence. As the hawk soars high in the sky, those born in April can find their way and follow their path without fear. Those born in May, the monk said enthusiastically, have as their companion the horse, a symbol of freedom, power, and vitality. He spoke of a courageous explorer born under the sign of the horse who had traveled the world, overcoming every obstacle with his inexhaustible energy. The horse teaches us to live life to the fullest and never give up in the face of difficulties. Hiroya explained, those born in May can find happiness and freedom and adventure. The horse also represents strength and endurance. Like the horse running free in the prairies, those born in May can face life's challenges with grit and determination. Those born in June, Hiroya continues softly, are guided by the deer, a symbol of kindness, intuition, and sensitivity. He described a compassionate healer born under the sign of the deer who had dedicated her life to helping others with her kind heart and deep intuition. The deer teaches us to live in harmony with nature and to listen to the voice of our heart, Hiroya said. Those born in June can find inner peace and bring comfort to others. The deer also reminds us of the importance of grace and beauty. As the deer moves elegantly through the forest, those born in June can find beauty and simplicity and bring harmony to the world. Those born in July Hiroya said warmly, have the crab as their protector, a symbol of protection, resilience, and emotional connection. He told the story of a loving mother born under the sign of the crab who created a safe haven for her family, facing adversity with courage and determination. 
The crab teaches us to protect what we love and to find strength in our vulnerability. Hiroya explained, those born in July can create deep, lasting bonds and overcome any challenge with resilience. Those born in August, Hiroya continued proudly, are led by the lion, a symbol of power, courage, and leadership. He spoke of a wise and just king born under the sign of the lion who had led his people with kindness and protected his kingdom with strength and determination. The lion teaches us to lead with courage and to use our power for the common good. Hiroya said, those born in August can accomplish great things and inspire others with their leadership. Those born in September, Hiroya said mysteriously, have as their guide the owl, a symbol of discernment, wisdom, and mystery. He described the solitary philosopher born under the sign of the owl, who had devoted his life to seeking knowledge and understanding the mysteries of the universe. The owl teaches us to seek the hidden truth and to use our intelligence to illuminate the world, the monk said. Those born in September can find profound answers and share their wisdom with others. Those born in October, Hiroya continued intensely, are accompanied by the crow, a symbol of transformation, intelligence, and mystery. He spoke of a visionary alchemist born under the sign of the crow, who had learned to transform adversity into opportunity, creating beauty from the ashes of the past. The crow teaches us to embrace change and find the magic in everyday life. Hiroya said, those born in October can overcome any obstacle and transform their reality. Those born in November, Hiroya said profoundly, are guided by the serpent a symbol of transformation, renewal, and hidden wisdom. He told the story of a spiritual healer born under the sign of the serpent who learned to free himself from old wounds and be reborn into a new life. The serpent teaches us to let go of the past and embrace change with courage and confidence. Hiroya explained, those born in November can find the strength to reinvent themselves and grow through challenges. Those born in December, Hiroya concluded tenderly, are guided by the doe, a symbol of kindness, intuition, and free spirit. He spoke of a dreamy poet born under the sign of the doe who had learned to find beauty in everything and to express her soul through delicate, profound verses. The doe teaches us to live in harmony with nature and to follow our hearts with grace and lightness. Hiroya said, those born in December can bring joy and inspiration to others with their gentle presence and creativity. The disciples were enthralled by Hiroya's stories, each trying to recognize their own spirit animal in the master's words. Some felt deeply connected to the wolf, others to the owl, still others to the dolphin or the horse. Each found a reflection of themselves in the qualities and lessons of these spirit animals. Their mentor, the teacher they trusted, encouraged them to meditate on the month of their birth, to connect with the energy of their spirit animal, and to be inspired by its qualities. Don't be afraid to explore your inner world and discover the wisdom that your spirit animal has to offer you, he said. The disciples left the temple feeling grateful and inspired. Their journey of self-discovery had just begun, but they knew that with the help of their spirit animal, they could overcome any challenge and achieve their wildest dreams. And so, over the next few days, they began to explore their connection with their spirit animal, some engaged in meditation, visualizing their spirit animal and asking for its guidance. Others immersed themselves in nature, trying to connect with their animal's energy through contact with the elements. Still others explored new creative pursuits, drawing inspiration from the qualities of their spirit animal. Sakura, 
the young disciple born in March, began to paint dolphins, capturing their grace and joy in her paintings. Taro, a young man born in January, devoted himself to protecting abandoned animals, practicing the loyalty and compassion of a wolf, and so on each finding their own way to express and honor their spirit animal. Over time, the disciples began to notice subtle but profound changes in their lives. They felt more in tune with themselves, more aware of their choices, and more confident in pursuing their goals. Challenges seemed less insurmountable, opportunities clearer, and life itself more meaningful. Hiroya watched his disciples with pride, watching them grow and blossom under the guidance of their spirit animals. He knew they had embarked on a journey that would take them far, a journey toward realizing their true potential.